Good evening, everybody. It is May 21st, 2023, Sunday, 1214 in the morning. My watch says that it is 1213 in the morning. Okay. This is part two of chapter two, The Pit. There were people in hell who were contained in a massive pit. Horrible creatures surrounded the perimeter. There was no way of escape. Any attempt to do so was futile. Human strength was no match for the demons. I felt such anguish for these hopeless people. But at the same time, I realized I could be next. I remember stepping into several fights as a child to protect kids who were weaker and being bullied. I was beaten up several times, but I couldn't just stand there and not help. The television actors who enforced justice and guarded the weak were my role models. Looking out for others is a godly characteristic. Since we all come from God, it is in most people to feel this way. We have seen how our country always comes to the rescue of the rest of the world. This inborn desire to protect the defenseless continued in my adult life. Now without the ability to help one defenseless, tormented soul, I felt the hopelessness deepen. Witnessing people in terror, in desperation, and in unending torment was more than I could bear. Now try to picture the most fearful moment of your life. For me, I remember one morning when, as a teenager, I was surfing off the coast of Florida. A school of sharks showed up and surrounded us. We frantically began paddling toward the beach, and in the frenzy, a guy nearby had his leg torn off. Then one shark knocked me completely off my board. My friend Renee and I were now literally swimming with the sharks. We desperately tried to get to the shore, but I sincerely felt that the blood in the water combined with the number of sharks was a certain death sentence. Suddenly, a nine-foot shark grabbed my leg in its mouth and pulled me down. For seemingly no reason, the shark let me go without a mark. Thank God. And Renee and I swam to shore. At the time, I was an avid surfer. Needless to say, I didn't go near the water for almost two years. Okay, so the, then there's two uh, inserts from people. Uh, there is no reason the torments of hell could not include physical fire. Erwin Lutzer. And then, indeed, all other senses will be affected too. The ear with hideous noises, shrieks and yells from fellow damned sinners. The eye with fearful, ghastly, and horrible spectacles. The smell with suffocating odors and nasty stench. Worse than a carrion, carrion or that which comes out of an open sepulcher. Thomas... Vincent. Okay, so that is all for part two of uh, blah, 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 blah. chapter two, The Pit, 23 Minutes in Hell. If you like this content, like this video, and comment below. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching.